Hello, everybody, and welcome back. So today we are continuing our reaction series to Vita Garnes. Uh, last time we left off, it was the first episode that kind of um, brought together uh, all the informational stuff regarding the trimmings and everything else, uh, including my favorite, the Mimic. So I was actually really happy to see that one of the next episodes here, there was a couple of them between this one and the last one we covered but I felt like this one was necessary for me to cover, seeing how it's around 21 minutes long or something like that. And seeing how this one is called Mimic Defense Instructional Tape, I can only imagine what we're in for. I mean, do you remember what happened last time we encountered a Mimic? So let's not waste any more time and let's go ahead and get started with my reaction to Vita Carnes Mimic Defense Instructional Tape. Oh boy. Oh, that was jarring. As of the time of this video's <laughs> release, we have been facing a concerning increase of missing persons and fatalities on a global scale. The reason for this is because we are under mimics. attack. We have discovered that yep. there has been a significant God, that's so growth creepy. of mimic populations. I love that illustration. Public safety. National leaders have released this instructional recording to teach you on how to defend yourself. Here is what you need to know about the threat. Mimics are humanoid, intelligent predators that are highly adaptive and feed solely on human prey. Mimics gain information on people by watching their daily lives and pick to hunt people when they are most vulnerable. They're just creeping on you? The most common just times watching? a mimic will attack is when you are asleep, that walking alone, or in a cornered position. Mimics are cautious and calculative creatures, taking precautions to ensure a successful hunt. They utilize various tactics to capture a person by surprise. Surprise! One of the more well-known tactics is hiding itself inside of furniture to blend into its environment. Common environment. objects that mimics oh, look at can it. hide inside are sofas, recliners, wardrobes, ottomans, and what? other places a mimic can comfortably wait. Mimics are able to contort their body in ways that allow them to fit inside smaller oh, places. Oh, that makes them even worse. They also use it to expand their body, making themselves appear larger for intimidation. Another method mimics use to blend in is their Don't ability tell me. to put on and wear clothing. You're kidding mimics me. Mimics put on layers of shirts, pants, and jackets to hide their bright red skin and blend into densely populated areas. In very rare cases, mimics can develop and grow to look very similar to human beings. Pairing this with clothing, it can be very hard to tell the difference between a mimic and a person right away. That's terrifying. If you are unsure if a person is a mimic, look out for key features no. that may reveal their true form. Look for abnormal <laughs> facial features, like large, what was bulbous that? eyes, flat noses, wide mouths in an uncanny smile, and clammy skin. Also pay attention like to other flash. exposed body parts like hands. Mimic people will have long fingers with no fingernails. Get out. If you are unable to see their face or hands, watch their walking pattern. Mimic's legs are long and hunched. Their walking will be unusual and irregular. They have a silly walk? Here is what you do if you are met with a mimic. If it stands before you, do not panic. Run away. Stand your ground and try to appear larger. Wave your hands and make plenty of noise. What? Maintain eye contact. A mimic will hesitate to attack a potential threat. If you are armed with a weapon, aim for the head or legs. These are the best areas to hit to immobilize the threat. Fight back and don't let it get a hold on you. If you find a mimic that hasn't discovered you yet, stay out of sight. Run away. Call the authorities and alert them of your location. Stay where you are to avoid startling the mimic. If the mimic gives chase, run. Try to get somewhere exactly. out of sight and hide. Do not leave the area. Officials will need to locate you to help. Stay low and stay quiet. With the information you have learned, use it well and stay safe. I doubt it's going to help. What's going on?
evidence tape. Oh, are we going to get some found footage? Yes. Sorry. I'm <laughs> Got it. Yes. <laughs> found footage That's is important. amazing. I know, but I've got to see how it works. Like, yeah, well, I never got to use one of these. Nice. <laughs> yeah, too bad. You were the only person who could film with me, so you're going to have to put up with it. Fine. Yeah. Yeah. Screw you. <laughs> Screw you. Screw you. It's still way too dark. One sec. Yeah, you need some light. Know. There you go. Seeing how their faces are censored. Oh, there we go. We got, we got some light now. They still haven't figured things out. Oh, look at that over there. You can't see anything unless I like point directly over there. Like, nope, can't see nothing. Are you sure we should be out this late? No. Fine. I don't think so. I'll cook you stuff when we get home. Don't worry. I'm hungry. Too bad. <laughs> Did he just say too bad? <laughs> too bad. I'm going to use that from now on. Too bad. I'm going to turn this up a little bit. There you go. I think that's okay. You know, we're all used to doing these walks. No big deal. Meanwhile, these people have to deal with mimics. What? Somebody just cut the grass and... <laughs> what is that? Uh... Right, but... It still turns off and on randomly for some reason. Like, it's the best thing I could get my hands on, though. Turning on and off, but it's the only thing that they would give me. It works, so I just gotta watch. This is gnarly. It's not my fault this guy lives in a fucking dump. We're almost there. We just gotta get through the woods. You see it, though? Hopefully I show up on camera as well. Where are they going? Hopefully there are lights out there. Like, people still live there, right? Oh, Can't be that bad. Pretty dark to me. Yeah. But, it was just one guy. I I don't know why. Like, why would they get rid of everything? Did someone tell them to go there? Dogs barking are never a good sign. No. The sky looks nice, though. Thing can't capture it. So what? Are dogs like pretty good at sensing mimics, or barely capture the ground in front of me? The cutting in and out is. What are we doing out here exactly? I don't like it. Well, supposedly they found some guy. Like it was like. It was like a grody scene. Like, it was disgusting. Like they, like, they had to get rid of the trailer he was in, and then, like, they didn't let anyone nearby, and it was like this big conspiracy. Okay. So, you know, I'm filming that. <laughs> Hopefully, I get a good mark for it. We're going to film it. Something disgusting. But I mean, why would you risk? Why would you do this? You need money that bad?
I mean, it's common knowledge that these things are out there, right? You're lost. Right next to it. Like, it's literally up there. Okay. Come on. It's not too late yet. Hungry. <laughs> Said that already. Yeah. I'm still hungry. Doing okay. We're almost there. Right. It'll be. It'll, it'll be like five minutes. Five minutes, okay? We're on the road. We're almost there. We just got past the tree line and make the way to the trailer park. What kind of road? There hasn't been a car. Home. Okay. Okay. I don't want to be out here either. It's a weird place. Yeah. You're not going to make it home, You're dude. Right here. You go ahead. I can't, you can't see a thing. What? You're going to send them? There should be a path. Right there, yeah, right here. Okay. See, I found the path. We're all good. Where are they now? What the hell? Just thinking about this, there's like mimics watching them right now. What is that? Something just move up there? Um, this guy knows something's up. I swear to God. I mean, where's the person that was with him? Okay. All the silence. This way. I think this way. Yo, look at this. I didn't see this on my way over here last time. Last cool. time. Like, we, we could get a shot of this in, like, atmosphere, you know? No. It just... Looks like tetanus. Just... Uh, I'll push. Just go home. One sec, let me get a good lighting on that. There we go. Yeah, look at that. That's cool. Just go home. Like old stuff here as well. Anyways... Is that a sock? What is... I wonder if I've already missed a, a mimic out in the distance or something. Can they hide up in the trees? Not a single building in sight. 
except like way over there. But there's no one here. It's the strangest thing. How far have they gone? <laughs> they just keep going. Honestly, at this point, I would have just said, let's just go this home. Right here. Yeah. This thing. What? Okay. So you, you take the camera and the light. Uh, point it at me, but don't point it at my eyes, please. Um, Like a barf bag. <laughs> All right, give me a second. And we do a read. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, this is regarding... I can barely hear it. I guess it's regarding the incident itself. Yeah, that's true. I did hear that. Way too much. Too much? Yeah. Okay, should I retry? Uh, sure. Okay. It paused. That one turned out alright, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, why is it rolling? Did you catch that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Messed okay. up the recording. Cut it out. Scary enough as is. Chris? 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 Uh, Where are you? Chris? You playing a joke? He just got done joking about getting grabbed by a mimic or something. guess he wasn't joking he still hasn't popped up okay 
What are you doing? Because this isn't funny. Oh, what? <laughs> it kind of made me laugh, but wait, was I wonder if? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! That <laughs> ended up scaring me more than the mimic. <laughs> I'm gonna turn this up a little bit, maybe. She find her way into a house or something? Oh, you're done. You're done. Yo, 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 yo. What? Are you serious? Okay. Is that it? Huh. Once again, another great episode. Um, the mimic kind of has some like lobster qualities. <laughs> um, it's it's again uh, like i was saying sometimes the mimic itself like the suit it kind of looks a little goofy but i again i think that's just the way that the mimic is trying to i guess convey its humanity i don't know like i feel like it's it's trying really hard to be humanoid it's trying really hard to copy everybody doesn't really do a good job until way later on, but in the beginning stages of it, it's always going to have that lobster esque quality to it. Um, I still think like the first the first tape when the mimic showed up that was that scared the hell out of me. I thought it was also really interesting that when Chris was talking to the camera, and this is probably why their faces were censored in the first place because. He did state that while people discovered that scene and all that terrifying stuff happened there, they still covered up the story. They gave a completely different explanation to the public so that people just wouldn't want to investigate anymore. So the 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 cover-ups and everything like that, despite the fact that mimics are just plentiful at this point, you know, they still want to cover it up. Now Again, this is kind of when when I think about these analog horror series that talk about people copying or getting copied, excuse me, or, you know, just like mimicry in, in general and how there's creatures that do that. They end up trying to take over society through different important factors, through public safety and even politics. So I'm just kind of wondering if that's what's going on here, if there has been some sort of, I don't know, gag order or something like that that's been given to the police so that they go ahead and cover up any sort of story that ends up happening as a result from a mimic encounter. Now, I don't know, but uh, it's really interesting to see that they are going out of their way to cover it up as opposed to instructing people, hey, you're supposed to protect yourself in any way, shape or form run away this is what's happening you know i'm just wondering why this is the case just something to think about right there i think what's really really cool about this whole entire series for me is just the amount of detail for each one of the types of creatures and everything that stems uh from you know from this from this uh particular like alien uh organism uh or set of organisms uh, that are on earth right now but the fact of the matter is this is the really cool thing for a lot of these analog horror series is that everybody is having to live 
among everything else that's happening. Life goes on despite all the terrors, all these nightmares that are living on Earth. I'm really happy that we got to see some of the the mimic uh, again in action. And mimics don't even know how to knock. They just bust through the window on the door if you have one there and they just open it and they just go inside. <laughs> but that mimic just straight up went in there and just like grabbed her and was just ready to eat. Just ready to eat. I'm kind of wondering what happens after that moment, after they capture somebody, eat them. What do they do with the body? What what do they do with it? If there's anything else that's done uh, with the remains of people, you know? And I'm wondering if maybe that's how they try to copy people more, is by eating them and kind of getting more ideas or maybe more information based off of the meat that they consume. Uh, that Honestly, that's just something that I've been wondering about. But it's really cool. I, again, I'm really happy to see that um, they're using practical effects. For me, I'm a huge fan of practical effects. Uh, I just thought it was really interesting. It was funny to me because, you know, she goes straight back to that car. Instead of just going home, goes straight back to the car. That's why I was laughing because... There it was. That mimic right there was just doing push-ups. And she interrupted him. It's like, you just interrupted my reps. I was busy doing reps. What's wrong with you? Now I gotta get you. So he knocked her door down. And he grabbed her. Now she's gone. And so is Chris. He was gone so fast. He made one joke about it. And that mimic was like, alright, that's it. You're done. Yoink. He was, he was gone. He was gone. So that was quick. I, it, it's just really interesting that there wasn't any sounds made by him. Who knows at this point? But I, I'm going to try to read into this a whole lot more. If you have any thoughts, theories, or anything regarding this particular video or this series itself, or if there is chapters of the series, I know that there's a couple of videos between this one and the last one we covered that uh, I should watch, feel free. Let me know. I'll go ahead and watch those. And if they're long enough and I see, hey, you know, I could, I could definitely make some reaction content for these, I'll go ahead and upload something for you all. But uh, yeah, again, uh, let me know in the comments what you think about this series, where you want it to go. Or even if you just want to tell me like what your favorite creature in this series is, let me know in the comments. But again, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for hanging out and watching with me. And of course, if you enjoyed watching, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel to catch us next time. I hope to see you all again. And as always, take care. Peace. I'm out of here. Bye-bye.